Good morning, everybody. It's Canadian Can-Am again. Uh, got up this morning and it looked so lovely outside. Decided to go for a little ride. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the cruise as we check out a few more new trails and such in the uh, Beaver Bank area. It's a beautiful sunny day and cool, so no flies. So sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the ride. So the plan for today is to uh, try and find a good f couple of fishing holes. I haven't had a chance to go fishing uh, since I moved to the area. Um, wanted to go see if I can find a few spots that uh, get there with the ATV and all that good stuff. I enjoy fishing but just haven't had a chance to go, go out. So I'm going in on my own today. Just me and me all by my little lonesome here and uh, we're just going to check out a few spots here uh, that I can uh, get with the ATV and uh, hopefully find uh, a couple spots I can go fishing. So that's my main uh, goal here today. However, some of the spots there I wanted to go, I was hoping there was going to be a bridge in order to connect up to other trails, but that's all you can do. So as usual, I'm traveling on, uh, on uh, private property and, and of course we have keys to the gates, which, uh, which is, we respect that we go through the gates and all that good stuff. And other than that, we're just going to keep on trucking and looking for uh, a few fishing holes. And if uh, we can find a few trails that uh, we go exploring, we'll do that as well. So sit back, relax, like I said. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day today. It's like plus 6 right now for uh, June 6th. That's really great. And uh, a little bit of a breeze keep the bugs off. So it was a beautiful day. And I'm going to say, I think I did 42 clicks when it's all said and done here. But the main thing is, like I said, to go explore in uh, quick local areas that I can access uh, quickly with the ATV and uh, find a few spots where we can uh, wet a line down the road. So, yeah, we're going to carry on up the road here. Some of the stuff you've probably seen before on other things and other videos, but uh, for the most part I try and cut out the, the trail ride and then uh, stick with the uh, exploring the new trails. So this road was just recently put in. It's not that old. Uh, compared to the rest of the road, this, this is fairly new. And when I looked on Google Earth, I said, oh, this looks like a spot I can probably get across to uh, get to the other side of some more trails. But, according to Google Earth, it looks like there's easy access. But as you can see, it basically ends as a dead end. You can see the road on the other side. The only thing that's missing is a bridge. And... Uh, that's the only thing, but it's a beautiful fishing hole. Like it's, a, it's an awesome little spot for putting a line in. So I'm, I definitely will be back fishing here down the road. Um, lots of water running. We've had lots of rain, 
But uh, if it wasn't for the fact there was no bridge, it would be awesome to scoot across the other side and all that fun stuff. Now, I tried to look around and see if there's any spots where anybody's actually kind of circumnavigated around the river here. But uh, unfortunately, I can't see anything. But that's what I'm going to do right now, kind of do a little check it out the location. But uh, yeah, if, if the bridge was here and got in, so I'm hoping down the road somebody actually puts a bridge in. And uh, that would be great because then I can just ATV right across and uh, check out some more spots on the other side, which I would love to get over to, 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 uh, to get to and, and explore. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's all you can do. So, yeah, I look down over the hill here, trying to see if there's any ATV trails or anything that we cut, cut throughs and something like that in order to get around it. I don't see anything. A little disappointing. I was uh, hoping to get some more some trails but, uh, on the other side. Fortunately, no. Good thing, though, got to find a fishing hole, which is the most. Uh, was one of the reasons I was on the go. So. Anyways, we're going to head back and uh, start exploring some side trails. Uh, according to the GPS, there's a few of these trails that get close down to uh, cut, cut acrosses that I may be able to use. So that's what we're going to head back now and start using some of the side trails and, uh, and check and see if there's anything that we can do to get across to the other side so I can explore the other side and also locate some more fishing holes. That's what we're going to start off with now. Well, there's the first side trail. I'm going to take a little boo down and see if I can get down closer to the river. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't go really. It goes. Uh, I was pretty sure it got all the way down, but uh, all of a sudden the trail just ended. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to go down here a little bit. Next thing with this one though, we're going to see a little, uh, not a little furry friend, but a little furry porcupine type friend. And he's going to be down here in the trail. I guess I just kind of spook him when I go down. You see, this kind of dead end, dead ends there as the main row, but then I kind of looked over and seen there's oh, a little trail down through here. So, time to go explore it. And uh, keep a sharp eye out. You'll see the see our friend Mr. Porcupine on the right hand side as I kind of give him a little spook as I go down through the trail. Mr. Porcupine was kind of a little camera shy. He really wasn't sticking around. I guess I kind of disturbed him whatever he was doing. But he uh, took off. Uh, he, he took off into the woods there. So, but uh, yeah, it's nice to actually see a little wildlife every now and again. I keep going down the trail here, and this trail just got unfortunately it dead ends. And it looked promising because you can see how it's you know it's fairly well maintained, but uh, but unfortunately it just kind of stops in the middle of nowhere. So kind of disappointing. Anyway, we're going to just explore these little few side trails and then we'll get back up onto the main road. So yeah, the trail just really just dead ends. There's no, uh, I mean, it doesn't even look like there's a turnaround. I mean, maybe the trail used to keep on going at one time or the other, 
but uh, I decided to, I mean it looked like it kind of kind of went down there I suppose but uh, it didn't look too safe for me by my lonesome on the bike if I had somebody with me it wouldn't be so bad and I decided to turn around and uh, get up out of it uh, I said I don't mind exploring some trails but I'm not going to put myself in a situation where uh, if I didn't have somebody to help uh, winch me out or give me a hand or something like that I wasn't going to put myself in that situation so be my lonesome I took the safest option and I decided to turn around and we're going to head back up and explore another little side trail and then uh, get up back onto the main road. Well, now that I'm up out of that little exploratory trail, I'm going to head down the road here a little further and uh, see if we can find some more little side roads to investigate. So, yeah, that's the key thing here today. It was just like say, see if I can explore some trails and uh, see if I can get anything down close to a couple ponds or rivers and check out a few fishing holes. So, but uh, so far, I've only got one good one so found so far, and I'm still working on the others. So the nice thing about this area, is the trails are multi-use, they're used by everybody. Uh, there's not actually the area I'm in right now, there's a couple uh, equestrian centers or uh, areas where they keep horses, stables and stuff like that. And they ride the horses, it's multi-use, everybody gets to use the trails. Um, I slowed right down because I didn't want to spook the horses and they stopped and waited for me to go by, and which was nice. I'm advising that I'm going to loop around them here so I don't spook them or anything like that. But, uh, no, nope, share the trails with everybody, and, uh, like I said, I wasn't going to rip it down the trail and spook everybody, but, uh, and uh, they kindly waited until I was by, and then I carried on my merry way. But, uh, like I said, multi-use trails, you can never know when you come across, and there was people in here today walking, there was other ATVs, and then you had other people riding, uh, horses. So here's another little trail. This one is a fairly well-used one. This takes you right down to a little lake. Um, so it is a looks like a nice little fishing spot. It is used by other people, but uh, you can tell there's somebody's at campfires and stuff like that. But uh, at least it's another spot option if I wanted to go well line. Now there is a trail I just received off the right there that takes you up, up uh, to the uh, up to what looks like a river crossing, and that one's on my GPS. So I'm gonna go in here just check out the pond, and when I'm finished checking out the pond, I'm gonna head up and I'm gonna take that side that little side trail back. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little pond. Uh, I can't remember what this one is actually offhand right now. I'll have to look it up later, but uh, uh, I didn't really pay attention to GPS. Now, it looks like there's a trail here that goes along the edge of the pond, which I didn't want to do. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little pond. Looks like a nice little spot to throw it in line if you want to. Don't know if you catch a trout or, or, or a few walleye or anything like that, but uh, it's a nice little spot. I'm just going to quickly park the bike here now and take a quick walk down to the edge. And But, uh, yeah, it's easy access. I can see lots of people get down here, so it's uh, you can see the ATV trails going off to the right here along the edge. But, uh, and looks like a hefty spot to be able to throw a line in it, so I, yeah, another little fishing spot for me to visit the, in the near future.
So that river that I was showing you earlier that we stopped and that the, uh, the road is ending, I said, if you needed a bridge. And I said, well, this is, a, this is the same river I'm going to again. Um, one thing about this trail, this trail was a, was a rough trail. You can just sort of make the river out in the, uh, right there on the edge of the screen there now and in the top view there. It's the same river. So I imagine if that's filled into the pond, it'll just that. You know, there should be something to fish, to fish there. But this is one heck of a rough old trail. So I don't know if it's just because it's just not just people just use it and don't maintain it or what. So I, I think I make a rod and turn here, so I'm gonna kind of loop back to the to the right, and I think that's where the the people can cross the river. The trail kind of does keep going on up along the river's edge, and maybe there's a better crossing. But with the water so high and and, and such, uh, I wasn't taking any chances. Like I said, once again, I'm by my lonesome. Uh, don't uh, don't take chances when I don't have to, and uh, I didn't try and cross the river. But it looks like uh, it looks like an area where you can cross, and uh, but when only with the rivers low enough flowing as fast as it is. So it is something to keep in mind. Maybe when the water levels drop and we've had a bit of a dry spell, I might come back down this trail and uh, see if I can get across the river and and uh, get to the get to the other side and explore the trail. Because once you get on your side, you're not very far away from the trail section that. Uh, that I wanted to go exploring earlier where that hopefully they do put a bridge in up on that other road but uh, yeah this was a snarly old trail and uh, and such and uh, it's not as you can see it's used but uh, it's just uh, I don't know it's, it's not used enough in my mind uh, just anyway this looks like the area here where you, if you take your time you can cross across the other side to, uh, to get on on the other trail system but like I said uh, the water looked fairly deep. It's, it's flowing pretty good. I said, I'm not taking that chance. And uh, I'm soon going to turn around and head up out of it and uh, see if I can find some more hot spots. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. We'll get that, get up out of here. Like I say it's a rough old trail. It's, and, uh, yeah, technical, I don't know about technical, but it's, it's a good spot if you're not careful, you might hang up on something. So yeah, turned around. Now I'm heading up out of the trail and I'm going to head back up to the, to the road again. And, Explore a few more side trails. I mean, it's I mean, the trail overall. Not the bad. It's just that it's uh, it's hard to go. I mean, you look down there, ruts and big old rocks and stuff like that. It looks like water's been running down it, and, and uh, it's okay. But I, I, I wouldn't want to use it as an everyday trail. That'd be all right as a connector trail, I guess. But uh, as an everyday trail, no, no, not something I would use. Anyways, so we're gonna head back up to the to the main road and. Uh, I think we're going to cross over to the Chesapeake area. I'm going to go start exploring some. There's a couple spots over there that are interesting. And then I end up on the power line and all that fun stuff just for going across. But uh, explore a few trails over there and see if we come across any good spots there, too. But uh, yeah, I just got to get up out of this little narrow little hole, like I said. I, had her in. I think I had to put her in 4x4 at one point in order to get her out of there. Anyway, we're back onto this little trail and then we'll be back up onto the main road. So I got up here and I seen the new stretch of road which wasn't even on Google. I said, hey, maybe this crosses the river. And uh, so I decided to go explore a little further and no. <laughs> this is as far as it went. So yeah, a little disappointed at that because it uh, looks like uh, it's cut, uh, cut down towards the river but they haven't finished the road down towards the river. So hopefully the, the Woods Company or whoever is doing the logging in here will do that. Anyway, I'm going to turn around and uh, head back, uh, back. I think I explore another little trail here off to the left. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a little trail there for it, but it's a dead end there, so uh, depending whether I'm going to show, I might cut this part in, but uh, I think up to the left here, it like, looks like a little trail through the woods, so I think I'm going to go up for it, but it dead ends really quick, so turn around and come back out of it. And then we'll uh, head over towards Chesapeake.
So if you haven't remember this uh, trail from before, this is uh, the one that uh, you took before. It takes you across from this current trail area I'm on. It was like a it's a it's a joiner trail. It takes it over to the Chesapeake area. So, uh, but you've seen this trail in its entirety before because we I have shown it uh, on a previous uh, video. But anyway, it's uh, another little ruffle trail. But it's, it's all it is is just the joiner trail. Just gets you across to the other one to uh, to the other trail system. So I'll probably be cutting out a fair bit of this one, just so I can uh, save time for the for the other side. But yeah, that's all this is is just a joiner trail, and uh, we'll get over to Chesapeake and start exploring some more uh, little uh, side trails. So I kind of look off to the left here. That's we're going to be coming back out that uh, little turn off trail there when I come off look to the left here. So yeah, I'm going to hang a right and then, uh, but uh, I'll come up, eventually when I work my way back exploring, I'm going to be coming back from the from the left hand side there, from that trail there. So so that's just the, they all need to connect. It's just neat thing about it, but uh, still uh, lots of little trails. So you got to be careful you don't get uh, get lost on them. So you can see it's uh, it is Sunday. It's uh, everybody's out. As I said, it's a beautiful day, so everybody's out down to go. This is a very popular trail. This is the Chesapeake Trail or Chesapeake Road uh, Trail. Anyways, it's it's a very popular one. I said a lot of people walk it. Once again, um, horses and stuff like that. It's multi use. This is the cut across trail we'll be using it later. And uh, so I just decided to go down the end of this one to see because this goes down towards a little uh, thing. Once again, all sorts of people walking. So I come across two fellers on just on Chesapeake alone, walking along. And as I and I just take the time, not, not to spook anybody or, or try to flick any rock back. It's just the way it is. I'm just going to go up here, and uh, I don't go down to the river on this one. I just kind of stop and look, I can see where you get down to it. I just didn't want to go down down that part. And then I'm just going to explore that side trail over back there a little way. So, but yeah. It's a bit of going on, so everybody's out enjoying the Sunday, which is the most important thing, enjoying the woods, which is everybody's out. This is a little mud hole kind of surprised me there for a second, but uh, didn't stop her. <laughs> Just kind of, so. so this goes down over down down towards uh, down towards uh, another spot I could possibly go fishing. There's a little river that goes down there. I never actually went down and looked and checked. I just uh, figured I'd... Uh, Stay up on top here. You can see where the trail goes off to the left here. It's a steep embankment. I didn't want to take any chances. So I'm going to turn around, head back, and then go up another little trail and see if I can get down towards another little lake, which, it, fortunately, the trail just kind of ends, so I end up coming back out of it again.
this trail didn't look like it was really going anywhere. And I thought it might take me down to a pond. And I said, the heck with it. I turned around and I got up out of it. So it could have done it. kept on going if I wanted. But uh, like I said, once again, bomb and lonesome. Don't want to take too many chances. If I come back with a buddy, maybe we'll keep on exploring. But uh, yeah, turn around and then uh, we'll get back on the main road here and we'll keep on heading out Chesapeake then. Now I'm going to get up to the power lines. I want to check out a possible bridge area that was uh, that somebody had uh, set up. So anyways, we're going to head up to the to the next joiner trail then. goes from Chesapeake up to the power lines. So just checking myself here for any ticks just in case any bugs got on me while I was going through the woods and checking everything else out before I keep on going. So this is the uh, cross trail that joins Chesapeake up to the power lines. Uh, once again, thanks to the local ATV club, they got a grant. They did a lot of work on this trail, put a lot of rock into it and all that fun stuff. Made this trail a lot more friendly for everybody and uh, very much uh, makes it so much easier for getting across. So kudos to the local ATV club. I said it before and I'll keep on saying it. Uh, they did an awesome job getting that trail. Uh, fixed up so it makes it easier for everybody to get across the power lines and uh, here we are we're almost, up, almost up to the other side here now we'll get up to the power lines and uh, get up onto the woods roads up on the back side So I got a little water on me in the first shot and I think, oh, not so bad until I did this. And of course, now I'm really wet. <laughs> At least it's a sunny day and there's a little bit of breeze blowing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pay attention more to the, to the water holes, I guess, other things. But uh, yeah, I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I definitely learned my lesson the second time. So I'll be watching those guys hold on the, on the way back. Very good thing, you get much water on the camera, that's the main thing. So this is the road that takes you down to Nicholson Lake. Uh, as you see, there's all sorts of bridging making material here. But the main reason, so it looks like they're going to put the bridge back in. But of course, this has been a, a notorious spot for people getting stuck and all that fun stuff. And some local guys have taken upon themselves to make a temporary bridge so they can get across. Now, it, it, apparently, it might. Uh, some people don't think it's safe. Some people think it's an uh, improper thing to do. Um, I don't know. I kind of looked at it. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad. It looked pretty far. I mean, it's, it's guardrails. It's what it is. It's guardrail pieces, and it's been they've been dug into the into the banks. They got the setups wide enough for uh, ATVs, and then another setups up for uh, eight, for side by sides. Now, I mean, you can go through the brook. That's that's uh, you can't do that. But I mean. Uh, that uh, it's already if the brook is is low, it's not too bad there. You can get through there today, and it wouldn't be too much of a problem. 
But uh, for some reason, this is, uh, I don't know, some people think this is unsafe or it's a, or it's a controversy. Either way, I'm not crossing it today. Uh, I probably have no problem using it. I've seen worse bridges in my in my in my life while skidooing and ATV and all that fun stuff. So that, that's not the worst bridge in the world. But the fact that they have all the bridging material there means that they're going to be putting a bridge back in. Uh, somebody is. And then I come across these just the glass the glass tra parts for the transformers for the power line just sitting there inside the roads. Like, geez, it's definitely going to work going on. Anyways, come back up to the power lines. I'm starting to head back, starting to head home here now. I'm going to head back down to the trail. But uh, first and foremost, it's time for a cup of tea. So we're going to stop here now for a few minutes, have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a few ATVs, actually a couple side-by-sides, uh, go cruising by. And uh, yeah, everybody was enjoying the sport. But right now, time for a cup of tea before I head down and check out another little trail on uh, on the back side. We're going to head back across towards Chesapeake again now. And uh, after I have a cup of tea and uh, check out a trail down there and see where that goes. And then, then we'll be slowly working my way back home. So I'm back down on the Chesapeake Road Trail now. This is a, another little sub-trail that's gone off. That, uh, what you saw back there is where I actually came across. It's the little cut through that comes back from over where I originally started. So I'm just going to head down here. It's treated in pretty nice, but it's a little pretty neat. It's like going through a tunnel. And I'm just going to follow this to the end and see where it goes. Uh, come across a deer blind, uh, shot up in the woods, and uh, but it, it just dead ends. And then we're going to take another little shortcut down through uh, and rejoin that little co cross trail that takes me back to where I start on to the main part where we were, where I started in the morning. But, uh, I guess at some point this road was uh, a lot wider road was used, but uh, for, for logging or whatever. But uh, this is the turn off that cuts back. That's where I'm gonna end up going back across. And uh, but yeah, this takes you up fairways, and uh, then the kind of once again it dead ends. I, I imagine if you really work look hard enough, you can find another ATV trail that carries on. But uh, it's just a neat little ride through here because it's just the way the trees have grown up alongside the trail and all that fun stuff. It's only wide enough now for ATVs and side by sides. And it was a pretty neat little run just up through there. There's, I mean, there's culverts and everything like that. So I think I'm getting up to the end of the trail here now. And then I didn't see the deer blind as I was going up. But as I was heading back, uh, the, the deer stand was right there. So, yeah. I think, was, yeah. I think if, I mean, if you really wanted to push it, you could go through here. Um, I decided not to. I said I might as well just head back, and I'm sure that takes you somewhere if you really wanted to go somewhere. But uh, I'm gonna head back here, and then very shortly left, you'll see me look off to the left. You, it's it's very hard to see in in amongst the trees, but it's a little deer a deer, a deer stand for somebody for hunting. So then we're gonna continue us down the trail and uh, head back over towards the towards the truck, and that should be it for the ride for today.
another little spot I hope they fix eventually. I kind of get fetched up here. I was like, what? Give me a break. So, backed her up. I thought I put her in 4x4 try it, but no. I had to back her up and then give it a little, give it a little shot. So I don't know what's there. There must be a good old rock or good old root there. Anyway, I got up over it. No problem. It's just, uh, I know the club and they're, and they're planning their next uh, thing. I hope they're going to kind of recommend they start looking at some of these joiner trails that they got set up and uh, maybe do a little work on, uh, I mean, not do super work that they make it a highway through there, but, uh, you know, any spot where you can put a little rock in, fill in some of the holes that collect a lot of the water and hide hide all these things that, can, that you can fetch up on and possibly do damage to the bike. So hopefully uh, they'll get a few more grants and hopefully they'll get around doing it. Anyways, we're back down through this cut through. We're uh, on the way out and we're going to head on out to the truck. That's pretty well going to conclude uh, today's run. Uh, I'm going to head out now, now and uh, get to the truck and, and uh, get her all loaded up after getting through the gate again, of course. Uh, grand total, once again, was uh, 42 kilometers. There's one of the spots we went down earlier. 42 kilometers a day on the, on the ATV. Only gone for a couple hours, but it was like it was a gorgeous day. I couldn't resist uh, going out on the bike, bike. I had to get out on the go. It was just one of those days where it, uh, it was just perfect to ride. Well, I think by the time I even got back to the truck, it was still like, like plus 12. And it was still a nice little breeze blowing to keep the bugs off you. And uh, just a joy, comfortable ride all day around. So thanks again for watching. I'm just going to basically uh, get out to the truck, get out to the gate, and uh, we're going to call her a day. Stay tuned for more rides. I'm uh, going to be hopefully making a few more videos here shortly, trying to get out on the bike as much as possible. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. There should be more rides uh, coming down, uh, coming out in the future. Once again, stay safe on the trails, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be talking to you later. This is uh, Canadian Can-Am. Have a great day.